Hi guys, welcome to ITTV. I am Mr. Wong, your English teacher. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to write a good summary. Now, writing a good summary doesn't just mean you shorten the passage. It means that you need to identify all the important points from the passage. You then compile them into a concise paragraph. It is not as easy as it seems. Now, the first thing you have to do is you really have to understand the passage. So today, we are going to read the passage carefully and we are first going to identify all the words that we are not familiar with. So without wasting any time, let's read the passage together. Comprehension Passage Mobile phones of today have features beyond sending text messages and making voice calls. They also have built-in cameras and camcorders enabling people to easily capture snippets of everyday life. Invented in 1997, the camera phone now makes up 85% of the mobile phone market. The camera cell phone is ideal, small and tidy to carry around and does produce good quality pictures. With it, it is an easy task to send pictures to family or friends who may stay far away. The pictures that are saved on it can be easily uploaded onto a computer. Moreover, it is generally inexpensive to use, providing we do not abuse it sending photos all the time to friends. The camera phone provides high-resolution pictures with different zoom options and red-eye reduction. The quality of the picture depends on the kind of phone one buys. The high-quality camera mobile phones come with a heavy price tag that sometimes is not affordable for the common man. They come with LED flash, zoom, and with high resolution to make it equally as competent as a digital camera. Most camera phones are easier to use than digital cameras. However, their fixed focus lenses and smaller sensors limit their performance in poor lighting. Having no physical shutter, most have a long shutter lag and no flash or optical zoom. Many even lack a USB connection, removable memory card, or other ways of transferring their pictures more quickly than by the phone's inherent communication features. While phones have been found to be useful by tourists and also useful for other common civilian purposes, since they are cheap, convenient, and portable. They have also caused controversy as they are able to take both still and video images unknown to the subject. A user may pretend to be simply talking on the phone or browsing the internet, drawing no suspicion while photographing a person against the person's wishes or a place illegally. However, as a network-connected device, Megapixel camera phones are playing significant roles in crime prevention, journalism, and business applications, as well as personal use. People have used them to snap the license plates of traffic violators and catch flashes in action. Intelligence agents use them to snap photos of suspicious travelers aboard planes and beam them to customs agents on the ground. Some TV stations have encouraged workers to use their camera phones to help chronicle news events. On the other hand, camera phones are also prone to abuses, such as voyeurism, invasion of privacy, and copyright infringement. Enforcing bans on camera phones has proven nearly impossible as they are small and numerous. They are easily hidden or disguised. 
making it difficult for law enforcement and security personnel to detect or stop their use. From time to time, organizations and places have prohibited or restricted the use of camera phones as well as cameras. Such places include federal and state courts, museums, schools, theaters, and local fitness clubs. Some companies are developing technology that would block the cameras. Saudi Arabia, in April 2004, banned the sale of camera phones nationwide for a time before allowing their sale in December 2004. In South Korea and Japan, all camera phones sold in the country must make a clear, audible sound whenever a picture is taken. It is hard to believe in today's society that a person wouldn't have a mobile phone. But it wasn't so long ago that most people needed to use pay phones. But the world is changing. Now, if you have a camera phone, take advantage of all the wonderful things you can do with it. But at the same time, make sure you do not abuse its capabilities. Now that we've read the passage, what we need to do is we need to identify all the words we are not familiar with. We will then find the meaning of these words. That way, we will have a much better idea of what the passage means. We are now going to take a look at a list of words that we have compiled. Now, if there are more words that you are not familiar with from the passage, just add it onto the list. Then, use your dictionary to find the meaning of those words. Now let's take a look at our vocabulary list. In total, we will be looking at 12 words a day. Here are the first five. In brackets are the paragraphs they are found in. Vocabulary list. Number one, ideal. Number two, abuse. Number three, resolution. Number four, affordable. And number five, competent. Now, let's take a look at the meaning of the words. Ideal means perfect. Abuse means misuse. Resolution means image with clear details. Affordable means priced within a limited budget. And competent means capable. Now let's move on to the next few words. The sixth word, inherent. The seventh word, civilian. The eighth word, controversy. Now what do these words mean? Inherent means existing as a natural part of something. Civilian means not part of the police or army. And controversy means a lot of disagreement about an issue. And the final four words. Number nine, violators. 10, chronicle. 11, infringement. And 12, prohibit. Now let's take a look at the meaning. Violators are people who break the law. Chronicle means make a record or give details. Infringement is an action that goes against the law. Prohibit means forbid. What we are going to do now is we are really going to understand the words we found the meaning to by completing a vocabulary exercise. Let's take a look at the exercise. Vocabulary exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct word. We will begin by reading the words in the box. Controversy. Inherent civilian, violators, chronicled, 
affordable, prohibited, infringement, resolution, abuse. The first question. The computer can show the pictures with a high blank. And the answer is resolution. The computer can show the pictures with a high resolution. Question 2. I will buy this pair of shoes as they are blank for me. And the answer is affordable. I will buy this pair of shoes as they are affordable for me. Question 3. The blank population has to stay behind the fences. And the answer is civilian. The civilian population has to stay behind the fences. Question 4. The rich man's life is blank in a book. And the answer is chronicled. The rich man's life is chronicled in a book. Question 5. For our safety, we were blank from going out at night. And the answer is prohibited. For our safety, we were prohibited from going out at night. 6. The traffic blank must be punished. And the answer is violators. The traffic violators must be punished. 7. There are blank risks in any sport. And the answer is inherent. There are inherent risks in any sport. 8. This is an blank of the copyright laws. And the answer is infringement. This is an infringement of the copyright laws. 9. There is a lot of blank over the issue of the new notes. And the answer is controversy. There is a lot of controversy over the issue of the new notes. 10. The staff often blank the use of the office phone. And the answer is abuse. The staff often abuse the use of the office phone. Now that we understand all the words in the passage, we are able to understand the passage better. Let's check our understanding by doing comprehension questions. Comprehension questions. By mentioning that the camera phone makes up 85% of the mobile phone market, what point is the writer trying to make? The answer can be found in paragraph 1. You may write your answer down now. And the answer is, camera phones are very popular and people buy cell phones that have the camera feature. Question 2. What two benefits of the camera phone are given in paragraph 2? And the answer is, the two benefits are 
A. It is convenient to use. B. Its pictures can be uploaded easily to the computer. Question 3. How would camera phones lose out to digital cameras in performance? And the answer is, unlike digital cameras, camera phones have fixed focus lenses and smaller sensors which limit their performance in poor lighting. Question 4. How can a camera phone enable secret photography? And the answer is, the user can pretend to be talking on the phone or browsing the internet while photographing a person against the person's wishes or a place illegally. Question 5. From paragraph 7, find two words which mean imposing and notice. And the answers are A. Imposing means enforcing and B. Notice means detect. We have now completed step one in writing a good summary. The first step is to make sure that you understand what you are reading. So we read the passage, we identified words we were not familiar with, we then found the meaning of these words. We read the passage again, and this time, we understood the passage better. With our vocabulary exercise and comprehension exercise, we now have a much better picture of what the passage is all about. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to identify the main ideas and the supporting details within the passage. And we will talk about that in our next lesson. That's all the time we have for today. But till I see you next time, keep on reading and don't be shy when you don't know words. Pick up your dictionary and find out the meanings. Bye-bye.